is Avi Belkin. I'm the director of Mike Wallace's here. Let's take a first look. The folks at CBS News said, come up with an idea. This is 60 Minutes. We were experimenting. We were trying to find out what worked and what didn't work. Nobody thought it was going to last. That's when we began to do the real investigative stuff. We were doing things that were revolutionary. Got no right to be here. I ask you to leave. People started to tune in to see what Mike was going to be up to next. There is a new billionaire in town. Trump's the name. I don't think it's journalism. I think it's show business. This film started like three years ago. Back then I was living in Tel Aviv and this was before Trump got elected, but it already felt like journalism was in a bad tipping point place, I would say. And I became obsessed with the question, how did journalism find itself in that place? And I started researching the story of journalism. I always find myself kind of gravitating towards Genesis stories, stories that have a and history background, I would say, and kind of inform the landscape today. And when I was doing research, I came across Mike Wallace interviews all the time. And I started researching a little bit about Mike and I found out he had this unparalleled career in journalism over 60 years, going through all the right intersections. And I felt like if I would do a Mike Wallace portrait, I can do a much bigger story of broadcast journalism through it. And that was the idea, so I took a plane ticket uh, to here and I came. People didn't ask tough questions back then. You invented that genre. You're not answering the specific question that I put. You ask tough questions that get behind the facade. I've never seen an interview that you did not dominate. It was my first. I'll ask the question, please. You're a son of a bitch, do you know that? Oh, come on. You are a Barbara. son of a bitch. Mike was a revolution. Uh, we got to remember that Mike started as an actor. He started as a jack of all trades, I would say. He was a pitch man, an actor, an announcer. He did commercials, he did game shows. And those were the early days of television. And when television came into the game, journalism changed. Television demanded journalism to become much more engaging with the viewers and much more entertaining, so people will tune in. And Mike was the perfect man for that job. He was an actor already. He was familiar with the camera, he knew how to perform, he knew how to make things dramatic. And when the old school of journalism were kind of stiff and didn't really adjust well to television, Mike was a natural. And he became really the first journalist star, I would say almost like a movie star, and really changed the game. I'm doing interviews, you're an interviewer, we all do interviews, and you know that we are looking for stuff that interests us. We're always kind of personal in those questions. We always frame them through our lens. And I felt like Mike did the same thing. So for example, Mike always asked people, how much money do you make? So for me, it was a, it's just a beautiful question, but when I went into Mike's biography, I discovered that he grew up in the Great Depression. And for him, money was a very dramatic issue. His parents lost his, their money midway through their lives. And he always had this feeling of, money can evaporate, money can disappear. So when he was asking people about money, he was actually showing his own feelings about money and how much he thinks it's relevant and important. So that's what informed me when I was building that massive you know, archive footage. I was looking for stuff that kind of show character of Mike all the time. I think it's very important to understand how we found ourselves today in a situation where there's a lot of so-called fake news and so many outlets and politicians and people of power fight against journalism. Back in the days of Mike Wallace in the 70s where journalism was really tough with Watergate and the Vietnam War, people wanted it. People demanded it and there was the number one show on television. And I feel like today a lot of people are opening the news to kind of get reaffirmed about their beliefs rather than to question their beliefs. So I think it's a two-way street, I would say, and we have to be a part of that discussion. Television journalism has been coming under recent criticism. Some polls have shown that public confidence is eroding. U.S. Army General William Westmoreland today filed suit against CBS Incorporated. The press is contemptible. I'd like you to get out of here. Are you aware that what you are doing is seriously endangering people? If you've got a hell of a story on your hands, go after it. Temptation is for television news to go easy. Is Russia a democracy? What we're defending is the people's right to know. 